Hi, Gemini. At any moment, this camera may fall, by the way. It's just balanced because I'm trying to recharge it, so it's just ever so uh, precariously balanced there on a cord. Okay, that seemed like it wanted to come out. So, okay, so we're looking for three cards for Gemini. Um, we're not even doing past, present, future. We need two more cards for our mutable air sign, please. And we're just letting the cards tell a little story. Okay, piece it together when we get it. We need two more cards for Gemini, please. I see one. We need one last card for Gemini, please. Okay, one final card for Gemini, please. Accurate card for Gemini, and it's really standing out there. Okay, bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Do you have an Aquarius that's rushing in or another air sign? Oh, wow, Gemini, holy moly, growth, growth, whoa. Uh, Gemini, you just got two major arcana cards, and the other card is Ace of Pence. I don't know what you're doing, but it has to do with emotional intellect, fertility, growth, incoming offers, incoming money. Uh, it may involve a Libra or a Taurus or a Leo. I don't know how to interpret this. Um... <sighs> What is this reading about, please? What is this reading about? Tarot saying that I should know. <laughs> Ooh, it's about a Leo. <laughs> um, because strength is one of the cards that came up and the Knight of Wands came up underneath it. If you are seeing a fire sign or a Taurus or a Libra, this is going to be incredible. Okay? So if you're seeing especially Leo, Libra, or Taurus, this is definitely the right path for you, and it's going to lead to, uh, this, I, I, this could be a male that I'm reading for because I'm seeing your wife here. Gemini, wow, wow. Fire and earth signs, good for you, Gem. Okay, it's probably for a very specific set of Geminis if it didn't resonate with you. Okay, if you like the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, Jim.